share comes from the Eagle Tribe, and it's called Timbalais Miluj Ilahanitza. The clinker is going to dance for the first time. The song originates from the house of Flat from the Gedacht Mut Flaxi, and we'd like to acknowledge the matriarch of the house, Sigrid Nak, who will be speaking Max between Emma Nice, for giving us permission to sing their song. A long time ago, the chief been in their house by the name of Tim Tu traveled to what we call <laughs> Kinderhans, the territory of the Quinky people, what is now known as Alaska. He traveled there many times throughout his life, and on one trip, he went the to council uh, should give us more money. Some people call it He went there and he wore a key song. It's a patchwork blanket made of various um, pelts. And the hosting chief wrote, noticed his blanket as he was entering the peace room. And the chief approached Tim Tut and asked him to use his blanket to perform a dance. So well, it Tim Tut allowed this to happen. And upon returning back to Gilad Amics, his home community, he wrote this song to record that small piece of history in his house. It's the same as the Pipes Meek in the Medita. No, because you did it in 2011. It's definitely account. The Raven people who are challenging the other three tribes to dance like them. They're evaluating and then we apply. You have to do two events to be able to apply heritage. Okay, okay. So after this one, that's good. Okay, good.
ever seen. Okay. 
Tony. No, not Tony. It's, it's a different man. Good afternoon, everyone. It's, uh, it's great to be here. I'm going to bring you the start. I'm saying uh, hi about uh, you. Events. Um, I want to bring greetings on behalf of our Mayor Peter Robertson, who uh, uh, sends his regrets. He couldn't uh, be here today, but he uh, did have a chat with, chat with him about this event. Uh, he was very pleased that it's an ongoing event. So uh, we did uh, produce a proclamation way back in uh, 2011. Uh, at the start of this, and uh, uh, he's, he continues to support uh, this, this type of initiative. I also want to recognize um, our councillor uh, from the city, uh, Adrian Cars, who is here as well, and our uh, Park Board Commissioner, Trevor Lowe, who has joined us as well. Maybe both of you can just stand up and uh, be recognized. This is a, a very important event to the City of Vancouver, and that's why, uh, out of the three levels of government, uh, we provide uh, the funding to, to help make this happen. Of course, this couldn't happen without uh, the many volunteers that uh, come forward and uh, the passion of John, amongst others, to uh, ensure that we have this type of uh, ongoing initiative for the City of Vancouver. When I uh, chatted with Jean just, uh, just briefly earlier, he had uh, previously sent me a number of questions on what message did I wanted uh, him to me to send all of you? And I think the, uh, there's a number of questions that he asked me that I tried to address in my speech today. But I want to tell you a little bit about the importance of this initiative from, uh, from both my perspective and from a city perspective. The, the reason why the city of Vancouver maintains its position as one of the best cities to live in the world is because of our interconnectedness between the many people that we have here. And that one of the best ways to make that happen is the result of the different languages that we experience, the different cultures that we have right here in our city, and the fact that uh, it is multi-generational. And so between all those efforts of uh, whether it be through our library, that I'm glad to see here represented, whether it be through our park board, our school boards, and, and city council, our efforts have more so than ever been coordinated to ensure that this opportunity of interconnectedness and the sharing of our cultures and languages continues, and in fact, it's strengthened. From, from my personal perspective, uh, I know that uh, as a result of having children uh, and them struggling a bit with some of our her heritage language, which is uh, Cantonese, which um, uh, used to be the dominant Chinese language here, and uh, even within the uh, uh, community here in, in Vancouver, it's now transitioning to our Mandarin speaking, the predominant Mandarin speaking uh, uh, equation. And it's important that my children and